I assume you're in the presence of what is most likely gonna be the best Batek electric shortboard ever made. Hey guys, Gabi here from Ray Studios and today I'm gonna be reviewing the Wago Mini 2. First, let's do a quick unboxing. The board can nicely pack in this box and as soon as we open it, we can see there is a very nice poster that that's gonna go in my wall. It seems like we have a business card, but it's not quite a business card. It's actually all the specs on this electric shortboard. We have a whole bunch of stickers and more stickers, but this is for the wheels. We have the charging brick, a cable to charge the remote, the remote itself, SK tools, we got the instruction manual with a lot of useful information. And the board itself. Here it is. The latest and greatest electric shortboard from Wago, the Mini 2. First, let's talk about design. As you can see, this board has a lot of character. It comes with the grip tape in black and purple. And on the back, we can see that Wago have been doing something really good with the latest electric skateboard, which is painting the back of the boards. And it is not just any paint. It is really high quality paint that is anti-scratch. Then we can see this casing that inside have the battery and the ESC. By the way, the ESC is Hobbywing. And uh, here we can see four LED lights and the power button. Hopefully, you don't need to touch the power button at all because this has motor detection. We can also see here on the back that we have a braking pad and we also have a kick tail. And there is also a bit of a concave. I'll be honest, this is most likely the most comfortable electric shortboard I have ever ride. It's very nice, the kicktail is actually very useful and even so it's somewhere about the same size like for example the x y Wave, it somehow feels bigger. By the way, don't mind these screws here. Wago already told me that this is just the first batch and on the future they will use different screws, most likely flat screws and under the grid tape. That is gonna look a lot nicer. When it comes to performance, this board is really powerful. It features dual hub motors. These hub motors are actually hobby wings, which are more compatible with other wheels. It came in the box with 90 mm PU wheels that are actually pretty good quality. But as you may have known already, that hub motors tend to be a little bit rough in some bad terrain, like in some roads with a lot of cracks. And generally speaking, I felt like it was quite comfortable, but yeah, I, I did feel some of those cracks. But that's the advantage of these particular uh, hub motors that they're very easy to replace the wheels and that's exactly what I did. It took me somewhere around five minutes to replace all four wheels. I already have the cloud wheel donuts and the standard cloud wheel for the front. These are the 105 millimeter um, uh, cloud wheels that it fits really nicely with this board. I have never got a wheel bite and because the board is actually very powerful. I mean, it is as powerful as most of my electric longboards. Well, I did not feel uh, much of a decrease on acceleration and braking while uh, having this cloud wheel. As a matter of fact, I think the acceleration and braking is actually really good on this board, especially the braking, even after wearing cloud wheels. And if you've probably been following this channel, you know I'm a big fan of cloud wheels. I try to put them in almost all my boards, and this is no exception. Now, one of the reasons why there is no wheel bite is because these tracks are mounted in racers. They already come with racers, so it's a little bit higher off the ground, but uh, even so it's a little bit higher. I never felt like it's unstable at high speed or anything bad. As a matter of fact, it felt really, really good. I don't know how, but it is possibly one of the best carving experience I ever had. And I'm not talking about shortboards, I'm talking about skateboards in general. The carving experience was just so, so good. Generally speaking, riding the board, it feels very intuitive, very good. And I think it's gonna be pretty good for both beginners or very experienced riders. I managed to hit a top speed of 37 kilometers per hour and a range of 18 kilometers. 
for a short ball, this is very impressive. And you're gonna keep in consideration that I'm a little bit over 200 pounds and five foot nine. So I'm a pretty large dude. A much lighter rider will definitely get better performance out of this board. But generally speaking, I would say that I'm very satisfied with it. The remote control is a, a standard Wago remote control, which is one of the best in the market. It has Type-C connection. There are many remotes that have Type-C connection. And we have an odometer and a lot of uh, useful information. It's very minimalist. And the best part of this remote, or at least the Wago boards, at least the latest Wago boards, is that they have motor detection. Once you turn on the remote, the board is on. So you don't need to go down and touch the bottom. That's disgusting. <laughs> the Wago Mini 2 at this particular price point, which is somewhere around $500, the price is gonna be changing all the time. They have promotions. By the way, talking about price and promotions, I'm gonna have a link in the description down below with a little discount. Uh, so make sure to buy from my link so you can enjoy that discount. It's probably not much, like five or ten dollars, but you know, better than nothing. And I, I gotta say, this make a case for being one of the best electric shortboards and in my personal opinion i think it's competing out there with most electric skateboards out there including electric longboards because it have a very good performance a very good to speed a very good acceleration braking just for example if i have to choose between this and uh, let's say the wagon night i hands down <laughs> go with this one is i think it's even more powerful and it's so much better for carving and generally speaking um, it's really cool it's also lighter look at this I'm, I'm holding this with one hand I think it's somewhere around 6.8 kilograms so it's easy to carry around wherever you go uh, I've been taking this on the subway um, nobody say anything to me because you know it looks like a small uh, skateboard they probably haven't seen the case in here but yeah uh, most people won't even realize that this is an electric skateboard and I take it on the subway, no problems, it's easy to carry around, very comfortable and once I get off the subway I just keep skating, going, you know, commuting, going to work, going to visit some friends. So this comes very highly recommended and like I say, link in the description down below in case you want to buy it. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I will really appreciate it if you do. I'm planning to do... Um, electric showboard comparison um, this is going to be included i'm probably going to have the x way and some other electric showboard so make sure to subscribe to the, to the channel if you haven't yet to don't miss that video this is Kavi from race studios and I'll catch you up on the next video